seat right now. Well, hey, everybody, I'm Terry Olette. And I'm Susan Casper. Welcome to the 36th annual APS Electric Light Parade. This is the fun part. Yeah. This is the behind the scenes. That's right, because we're doing this streaming, right? We, the parade actually, actually, <laughs> hasn't even started yet, but we wanted to get our Facebook stream going. So you are going to see us working, actually, yes. right now, yeah. because we're going to we're, you know, we're also broadcasting here in just a few moments. So we're going to stop and start. We're going to talk to each other and we're going to do crazy things. And you're going to be like, do they know that they're on yes. camera? Yeah, we know. We know. But here, <laughs> but here's the fun part. You are really getting a front row seat, um, as we just, as Terry just said. But let me tell you what's going on right in front of us. Yeah. There are thousands of people lining the parade route. Yeah. It's going to be 2.3 miles of fun, yep. festive, mm -hmm. exciting, lots of floats. They're all getting ready to come down central. I'm telling you, and we have, uh, what's our total? 90, uh, 98? 90, yeah. Oh, look Nine, at that, look at that. Yeah, here they come. 98 floats this year. They're all here. Nobody's scratched yet. Yes. So it's going to be really exciting. And uh, like we said, you're going to kind of see the behind the scenes stuff as well. But uh, just just know that it's not a mistake. It's all intentional right. that because we're Facebooking now that we wanted to kind of give uh, give you the first look -see. Yeah. It's for the edited broadcast <clears throat> that will yeah. all, it'll all look perfect when you see this air back. But if you are watching us live maybe you're out here on the parade route right now i know the city of phoenix would like all of you to please share your pictures with your families and your friends and use hashtag phx light parade and this year's theme it's, it's electric. electric. It's right. It's all about the neon. Can you tell? <laughs> Miss, Miss Neon here. She is Woo! all over it. She is uh, their wardrobe specialist here on Sonoran <laughs> Living. She she themes out all of her Everything. clothes for every event, and Everything. I'm so impressed. Yes. Well, yeah. it's, it's been so fun because one of the things that we, uh, you and I, Terry and I are like sisters, okay? We're family. You guys yes. are a part of our Facebook family. But we love this event because it does kick off that nostalgic feeling, yeah. right? We see families who are coming in right now. There are little ones, uh, some in strollers, some are walking with moms and dads, and I guarantee you they were here when they were younger. 36 years, it's a long time. And of course, we've been here since it was actually light out, so yeah. we saw a lot of people. Yeah. And you know what's really cool? I love how families come all dressed in Look. their pajamas. Oh. You know, they've got their tents set up because the last couple of years it rained. Yeah. Yes. But there's lots of families, and they all have the matching jammies on, and they've got their hot chocolate and oh, their blankies, and everybody's just super excited. Yeah, you can bring, you know, your coolers full of your holiday cookies and, and <laughs> snacks and it's anything really cold. else. really <laughs> cold. Anything else you would like. But I'm glad you mentioned that about years past, because when it is raining, it does make it a little bit miserable, but the folks still come. Yes. The parade lovers still show up in their, you know, poncho and their umbrellas but this year guess what it is perfect the weather oh gosh I tell you what mother nature is shining her light tonight because it's gorgeous that is right it's actually uh, a little cold mm -hmm. <laughs> not gonna lie so uh, it's we don't have any heaters or anything either no, but I've got we've we got blankets blankets, yeah. blankets on our laps we have our boots on yeah and all that and, yeah. and we want to thank of course our production team who gets out here a lot earlier than we do yes. uh, to get all of this set up and to give you all a great bird's eye view of the parade um, as it comes down the road here. Um, and it's a lot of work. And there's a staging area over at the church where folks, of course, lined up since yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And well, and think about the months and yes. months of preparation. Yes. Some of these floats, I, I, we're so excited. And we, we've said it before um, to each other that this this is looking to be, honestly, Susan, yeah. one of the best parades ever, just because the, the, the uh, craftsmanship right. that everybody has put in to their works of art that are coming down yeah, Central Avenue. Yeah, and that Avenue. is what it is. A lot of times they leave here, they give themselves a quick, you know, couple of weeks break, and then they're right back into getting the next year's float prepared. So it does take months of work, um, a lot of resources, a lot of volunteers, a lot of parents with the little groups that are going to be coming out here with kiddos, yep. and a lot of just community support. So they are thankful that you all have lined the streets, of course, all the parade lovers, and they're thankful to you who are watching uh, on Facebook because you get a behind-the-scenes look at what goes into this parade. And if you've been watching this parade for any length of time, you know the Dolan family. Mm -hmm. They've been in this parade every single year.
year. You yes. will not be disappointed. <laughs> they are in it once, you know, yet again. I think last year, Tim Hattrick yes. jump, ended up jumping, jumping on their parade, <laughs> on their float. And he's like, hey, why not? And they're like, hey, come on. So it, it's so exciting because this truly is, it's such a family tradition for so many people. Neighborhoods gather, they work on floats. Yeah. Uh, people come together throughout the entire year planning and then building and it really has become a, a holiday tradition for so many people. Yeah, it is the holiday tradition for mm -hmm. a lot of families out here. They, it's they our know, holiday right, tradition. It's our <laughs> holiday tradition. They know once they get to this parade, it's it's the season. It's yeah. the season. You can feel it. I was telling Terry before we started, there's a spirit in the air. Yeah. And it, it is really infectious. And, and we hope we can give you a little bit of that today. We hope you can feel our excitement. Uh, we'll try to give you, you know, a, a, a bird's eye view kind yeah. of of what's happening behind the scenes, but we want you to feel the spirit and the energy, so we hope we bring that to you today. Well, we have several cameras out. We have what they call a jib, this one camera that's on this big, long pole. That's the camera getting the shot. Okay. And um, we also have a drone out this year, too, so that's really cool. Yeah, so we, it looks like we're getting close yeah, here. Yeah, we are getting close. So okay, we have so an amazing team. Our executive <laughs> producer, Margot Papke, is just off to the okay. to the right of the camera so <laughs> she's getting us ready she just told us they have started i and you're going to hear like kids start screaming in a little bit which is For us. so <laughs> fun because oh, we can the feel music. the excitement nothing like a good parade aren't your hands cold a little bit and yeah i've got gloves i've got one glove on and one glove off yeah. because i i can't turn the pages of our we have a script look at look how thick it is this is yeah this book is big <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's really like this big. Bag. So, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna we're gonna switch mental gears here, uh, yes. just so you know, because we are now going to start preparing for a broadcast. And so, are are you ready? Yes. So this is our behind okay. the scenes stuff. Remember, we told you we're editing it for broadcast. So, that so way we're we gonna start all over again from the very top. All right, we're all set. Okay. Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 36th annual APS Electric Light Parade. We are so excited you're joining us. I'm Susan Casper. And I'm Terry Olette. You know, over the years, and Susan, you and I have done many oh, of those yes. years together, right? This parade has become Phoenix's signature holiday event. Parade lovers, hundreds of thousands <laughs> of them, line the streets, and it all just kicks off the holiday season. Yes, it is such a family fun event, and you are in the right spot. Sit back and relax because we know you are going to enjoy this evening's experience as we celebrate this year's theme. It's, it's electric. electric. It's all about the neon, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's get started. The City of Phoenix Parks and Recreation Department proudly presents the 2023 APS Electric Light Parade. The Phoenix Park System is one of the best in the country, offering year-round programs for all ages. There's great open space programs, community centers, swimming programs, hiking in the preserves, special events, and so much more. Proudly carrying the banner and helium balloons, our participants in the PHX Teens Program. They invite you to check out all the amazing recreation opportunities available. A great parks and recreation system makes a great community. Go to phoenix.gov slash parks to get started. Yeah, how low can you go? They're going <laughs> all the way down. You're going to see a lot of neon tonight, of course. That is the theme. And you're going to see it in our next group. It is the Phoenix Park Rangers. Did you know that the Rangers, they, they really much patrol every flatland and mountain park in the entire Phoenix wow. system. That's a, lot. That's a lot of ground to cover. And we love our rangers. We really do. They do an exceptional job. They not only conduct enforcement, of course, of the park rules and the code of conduct, which is very important because we've got to keep our parks amazing and beautiful. Yes. They also provide incredible customer service to the system users with facility information. They offer classes. They have educational outreach as well as trail development and trail repair and so much more. We absolutely love our park rangers. They strive to promote safe and accessible parks to all who visit.
They took the easy way out on that one. They just put a bunch of blow-ups in the back of the truck. That was brilliant. That was Very brilliant. Smart. And lots of lights. That's the fun part as well. Hey, they have a lot of work to do during the day. That's right. Got a lot of ground to cover, yes, like you they said. Do. All right, please welcome Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego. Mayor Gallego is proud to be riding in a beautiful electric Ford Lightning provided by Sky Harbor. She wants to give a special shout out to the Girl Scouts holding their balloon and the Phoenix Rising who loaned them their championship United Soccer League Cup for the parade. Hey, congrats to them. She also wants to thank all of those who helped make the light parade possible this year. She says, hey, thank you for all of your hard work. Those balloons are amazing. You can see them all the way down the street. I love this, 2.3 miles. That's that is way. how long this parade <laughs> will go tonight. And we love every single moment of it. The mayor there, look at that trophy. Wow, wow it's, it's gorgeous. Bigger than, it's bigger than she is. <laughs> Hi, mayor, how are you tonight? <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. So impressive. Congratulations to our hometown guys. We would like to welcome Councilwoman Ann O'Brien. She is riding in a beautiful truck provided by courtesy Chevrolet. She is an Arizona native and she's representing District 1. Councilwoman O'Brien's wish is for the holiday season to bring moments of love, goodwill, and happiness to all. And she really wants our homes to be filled with precious memories and beloved gifts, of course. The O'Brien family wishes everyone a safe and meaningful holiday season and a joyous new year. <laughs> Load up the kids yes. and let's be in a parade. <laughs> Isn't this just the best when you're sitting on the back, the, the, the eyes of the kids, we always talk about how big their eyes get when those lights go by, it's magical. They don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> Well, please welcome Councilwoman Deborah Stark, who is riding in the East Sunny Slope Neighborhood Association and Block Watch Float. Councilwoman Stark is proud to ride alongside her constituents and city partners, showing that by working together, we can make a better today and a stronger tomorrow. She's proud of all the Sunny Slope volunteers who dedicated countless hours to put together this float. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, bringing you holiday cheer. I know it does me. Councilwoman Stark, along with neighborhood specialist Krista Roy, and the East Sunny Slope members wish you a healthy, safe, and prosperous holiday season. It's so cool because the drone is going around as well, so you're getting a really cool view. I love the signs on the side. Yes. You can tell everybody participated, <laughs> the kids, everybody. It's so cute. And that's what it's about, getting everyone involved, all the little fingers. It's just perfect. And now we would like to welcome District 4 Councilwoman Laura Pastor. She's riding in a vehicle from Courtesy Chevrolet. Councilwoman Pastor is joined by the Phoenix Union Superintendent. This is the first female in PXU's history, Ms. Thelia Andrade. Councilwoman Pastor, her staff and family, they would like to wish everyone a safe, happy, and blessed holiday season. That car looks amazing. Look at all the lights there. Partnering with the City Parks and Recreation Department and in support of all of the hard work and dedication, Councilwoman Pastor is followed by two City of Phoenix Parks Department programs. They worked hard on that. Yeah, That's gorgeous. a lot of lights on that little car. Look at that. And the balloons. Look at that. It's great. That was very clever. 
A for creativity. Yeah, you'll see them coming and going for sure. <laughs> That's for amazing. sure. And you know, you just don't know how yeah. amazing, because all of the lights on the street are down. So right. everything is just popping, right. right? And if we can see it with the lights that are flashing <laughs> in our eyes, it must be fantastic from that side. Well, here is the City of Phoenix Aquatics Division, which is responsible for hiring Phoenix's amazing lifeguards and teaching our kids how to swim. These water heroes remind us that water safety is multi-layered. Learning to swim is critical to your child's safety, but parents, don't just watch your kids around water, swim with them. You are the first line of defense. Oh, and hey, by the way, is your team looking for the best summer job ever? Become a lifeguard and be a hero in our community. And that float is so cool. Look at that. It has a, it has the... Um, They're swimming. Yeah, look at that. I love this. This is so great. The lifeguard, oh, the polar bear, the slide. It's fantastic. That was very, very clever. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the lifeguards. Hey, guys. And gals. <laughs> to love our lifeguards, yes. right? Keep us and our Life, kids safe. Yeah, life-saving work right there. And right behind them, also with Parks and Rec, is Fit PHX. We're doing a lot of overeating right now, so we all <laughs> need to listen to this. Back in 2013, the city launched uh, Fit PHX. It's a citywide health and wellness initiative. It is really dedicated to improving health and wellness and making Phoenix one of the healthiest cities in the nation. Fit PHX is celebrating 10 years of community health and wellness, and this year they're connecting the city to a lot of free services. They really want to promote mind, body, and spirit. It's open to all ages, levels, abilities. They have a lot of fun free programs, including morning yoga, outdoor circuit training, and walking. If you'd like to learn more, visit phoenix.gov slash fitphx. Phoenix City Councilwoman Betty Guardado is joined this year as she is every year by the members of the Phoenix Labor Movement. From our hotel workers to our bus drivers to our construction workers, Councilwoman Guardado is thankful to all of the men and women that work to make Phoenix the best city in the country. With one of the largest Latino populations in the U.S., Councilwoman Guardado is excited to share Phoenix's vibrant Latino culture this holiday season. I'm sure you can hear it behind me, right? Her family and her entire District 5 team would like to wish you a very, very Christmas and happy holidays and Feliz I'm telling you, when you get front row seats, so do we, and it feel you can feel the vibration. Yes, I was you like, let's just vibration. listen. And now we would like to give a shout out and welcome Councilman Kevin Robinson. He's riding in a beautiful vehicle provided by Courtesy Chevrolet. He's accompanied tonight by two District 6 elves. The newly elected councilman is happy to start a new tradition of District 6's attendance in this amazing parade. Councilman Robinson and his staff, Jenny Wingenroth, Cody Kellogg, and we have Jack Keeney and Reagan Gallo. They want to extend a heartfelt thank you for the invitation to spread holiday cheer with you all tonight. And best wishes from Phoenix City Councilwoman Keisha Hodge Washington, who represents District Number Eight. Here's to a joyful, joyful holiday. Here's to a joyful holiday season. She and her office are sending you the very best wishes this holiday season. May good health, belly laughs, true happiness, and peace of mind be abundant this holiday season and through the coming year.
and I'm so excited to welcome the Gadsden Elementary School District 32 Marching Band from St. Louis, Arizona. That's located in the southwest corner of the state. It's on the border of Mexico, and it's composed of approximately 100 students, this amazing little band here. The Gadsden Marching Band, they've been highly recognized, not only nationally, but worldwide, participating in the New Year's Parade in London. They were at the Cabagada de los Reyes Parade in Madrid, Spain, and in the Rome Parade. The Gadsden Marching Band, they are so excited to be back participating in the APS Electric Light Parade again this year with thousands, thousands of colorful lights. They always bring great wow. enthusiasm and high energy. They are sensational. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? I love how all of the, the marching band, they have lights all over them as well. Just coming down the street, it is such a spectacular sign. I think that's amazing. I'll just redo it, but I didn't did want me to do it right now. Okay. The Gat. I am so excited to welcome the Gadsden. I'm so excited to. We are so excited to welcome the Gadsden Elementary School District 32 Marching Band from St. Louis, Arizona, which is San Louis. San Louis. Is that, San, 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 San Louis. Louis. San, San Louis. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, and here comes the Phoenix Fire Department heating things up. The Phoenix Fire Department's 1978 Dodge Monacos were for battalion chiefs and other chiefs to respond in their daily duties. Well, this one, it's number 1535, was primarily driven by Captain and Fire Marshal Bob Ross, later Fire Chief and later by Fire Chief Alan Brunacini and Assistant Chief Bob Gibson, they received city permission to restore it and keep it for historical preservation purposes. <laughs> Chief Brunacini drove it for a short time himself. The Dodge Monacos were originally purchased by the city with the police package to save money. And the police version was of tan and white at the time, while the fire department's version was red and white, minus the shotgun rack and other <laughs> police-specific items, right? By the 1980s, the fire department moved to SUV-style trucks so they could carry their protective gear and breathing packs to many other items. By the 1980s, the fire department moved to SUV-style trucks so they could carry their protective gear and their breathing packs and many other items to bring to major fires. That's amazing. Very, very cool. We're learning, and that's what I love about this parade. It's such a history lesson. I know. Right? We're learning so much about different departments in our city, um, you know, the way people work and th the way things have evolved over the yeah. years. You're going to get a little history lesson today. It's really cool. We'd like to welcome now Fleet Services. Listen to this. They're responsible for nearly 8,000 vehicles and equipment. A staff of 230 employees 
buys 600 new vehicles and performs over 67,000 repairs and maintenance on them each year. City vehicles, they travel over 50 million miles a year and have a mix of electric, gas, diesel, and CNG powered units. The city is committed to add at least 200 all electric vehicles to the fleet by 2030. They keep things rolling, Boy, literally. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> wow, look at this. The Phoenix Water Services Department, they've done a lot of work here. It's the largest potable water provider in Arizona, delivering safe, clean, reliable drinking water to 1.7 million residents. Phoenix Water recycles 97% of its highly treated wastewater for use in agriculture, environmental, Rest restoration. Phoenix Water recycles 97% of its highly treated wastewater for use in agriculture, environmental. I'm going to do that again. Phoenix Water recycles 97% of its highly treated wastewater for use in agricultural, environmental restoration, and energy production. For over 100 years, Phoenix Water's innovative water management strategies and commitment to conservation have helped the city of Phoenix become a leader in sustainability. This factor truck, which is used to clean sewer lines, is new to the wastewater collection fleet and uses less water because of its built-in water filtration system. Phoenix Water planning for future generations and conserving water for more than 100 years. And they want to say happy holidays from the Phoenix Water Team. Yeah, we're learning a lot. I told you, there's <laughs> departments that do so much in our city that we don't know about. So this is a little, a little lesson for you today. Yeah. And now we have season's greetings to everyone on Electric Avenue. Season's greetings from everyone on Electric Avenue. Nearly 700 employees work round the clock to make sure Phoenix's 5,000 plus miles of streets are safely maintained. Look at this. This is the greater vehicle. That's what you're seeing right here. It's a multi purpose machine and it does so many cool things. It flattens the surfaces in undeveloped areas, but it also is used during monsoon season to help remove hazards in the roadway. That is such an important use. And just behind that grader, we have a bucket truck that lifts staff up to 50 feet in the air to install or repair over 1,200 traffic signals and 100,000 streetlights around the city. It's amazing what they do. This holiday season, whether you are walking, riding, or rolling along the streets, please remember to always scan the street for wheels and feet. Such a safety reminder there that we need to keep in the back of our minds this holiday season. They even put lights on the dog. That was brilliant. <laughs> so, so cool. And I see these all the time. You see them around, but they have such an important use. Yeah, you can look at those too. Yeah. Now you know. Now you know. And I love the song. It's electric after all. Uh huh. I'm keeping the theme of things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you say, you know, what do some of these departments yeah. do, wait till you hear this one, okay? The City of Phoenix Human Services Department, they support residents through comprehensive programs such as rent and utility assistance, career services, Head Start, refugee and immigration services, senior activities and meals, tax preparation, and services for victims of domestic violence. The Human Services Department Illuminated Float is provided by MV Transportation, which, which provides transportation for members to and from senior centers. Yeah, this is still street services. Yep, yeah, so we'll have to start that one again. Wow, that is huge. The City of Phoenix Human Services Department supports residents through comprehensive programs such as rent and utility assistance, career services, Head Start, refugee and immigration services, senior activities and meals, tax preparation, and services for victims of domestic violence. Boy, they do a lot yes, of work for do. our city. The Human Services Department Illuminated Float is provided by MV Transportation, 
which provides transportation for members to and from their senior centers. Oh, we love that. That's fantastic because that's such an important and vital part of our community. Boy, they do a lot for yes, the city. They really do. All right, are you looking for a job? Well, do work that makes Phoenix work. Join the team of more than 14,000 passionate individuals who are making a difference in their community every single day. City of Phoenix employees enjoy competitive wages, outstanding benefits, including medical, dental, tuition reimbursement, and 12 weeks paid paternal leave. That is for a medallion. The City of Phoenix employees, they enjoy competitive wages, outstanding benefits, including medical, dental, tuition reimbursement, and 12 weeks paid parental leave. Come see why the City of Phoenix is one of America's best large employers, according to Forbes magazine. Apply today at phoenix.gov. This is still HR. Is it? Yeah. I just okay. saw their sign. All right. Well, no, that's Phoenix work, right? No, it's, it's I don't know. Yeah, PHX. It's HR? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just, okay, so we'll start this one So again. do it again? Yeah. I need it to in there. Okay. I couldn't get that out anyway, so I'm glad we're doing that again. That was... Hey, are you looking for a job? We'll do work that makes Phoenix work. Join the team of more than 14,000 passionate individuals who are making a difference in their community every single day. City of Phoenix employees enjoy competitive wages and outstanding benefits, including medical, dental, tuition reimbursement, and 12 weeks paid parental leave. Come see why the City of Phoenix is one of America's best large employers. That is according to Forbes magazine. Apply today at phoenix.gov slash jobs and begin your exciting new career journey. Your future is Phoenix. The housing department provides quality, affordable housing and a pathway to self-sufficiency. The department provides homes to more than 35,000 residents. It implements the Housing Phoenix Plan, undertakes development and provides financing to our partners to help create affordable housing. The department also provides services and referrals to help residents reach their goals. Visit phoenix.gov slash housing to learn more about additional services offered and they say happy holidays from our house to yours oh, i love That's this so cute. it is so cute and did you see all the little miniature houses on there yeah. it's adorable it's like a monopoly game yeah it's super super <laughs> fun super cool and now we would like to welcome the city of phoenix phoenix community emergency response team also known as cert the CERT program, it helps train people to better respond to emergency situations in their home and in their community. CERT members can give critical support to first responders. They can provide immediate assistance to victims and organize spontaneous volunteers at a disaster site, which is so critical. CERT members also help with non-emergency projects to improve the safety in our community. We cannot thank them enough for Absolutely. the incredible work they do. AZ Girl Choir is a community choir for girls and women ages five and up. Their mission is to cultivate confidence, community, and leadership in girls through the beauty of music. The last time these ladies participated in the parade was 2019. Even though it was raining, they said they had tons of fun. Arizona Girl Choir invites you to our to their holiday concerts. All you have to do is encourage, visit their website, of course, and encourage multi-generational and family singing so they have moms and daughters singing together. Even though it was raining, they had tons of fun. The Arizona Girl Choir invites you to their holiday concerts, December 9th and 10th, to celebrate the season. And they encourage multi-generational and family singing, so they have moms and daughters singing together. And here comes the APS 1952 Seagraves fire engine. I can hear it, featuring the Grand Marshal.
And here comes the APS 1952 Seagraves Fire Engine featuring the Grand Marshal Miss America 2023. Grace Stankey. Miss Stankey is a current student at the University of Wisconsin Madison pursuing a Bachelor's of Science degree in nuclear engineering. She's so cool. Wow. As a current Miss America 2023, she is traveling the world to promote her social impact initiative, clean energy, cleaner future, and to discuss and dispel the misconceptions surrounding nuclear energy. And today is World Nuclear Energy Day, so it's the perfect day to celebrate clean, reliable energy. I am so, so excited to be here for the APS Electric Lights Parade as the Grand Marshal. It is much warmer here in Phoenix. Thank you so much. Happy, happy holidays. Hey, everybody. Oh, y'all are prepared over there. <laughs> you got Jack Jack's backdrop. I love it. Hi, everybody. She is How are we doing so amazing. Here? Traveling there the country, the encouraging the more girls to be a part holidays, of the STEM everybody. program. She is brains and brawn. I tell I'm you, telling she's you. brains and yeah. beauty, I should say. Let's all learn more about yes. nuclear, nuclear energy, shall we? She's so fun. Oh, man, she's got lots of energy. Good for her. Yes. Go Miss America. <laughs> oh, you hear that? Woo, I love it. From Tinseltown to the Valley of the Sun. Next up is the Palo Verde Generating Station fire truck. Here's the cool part. Before being purchased and retrofitted, this truck was part of the Transformer movie series. I am in love with that series, by the way. How cool. It's currently protecting the nation's largest clean energy station. APS, of course, the operator and part owner of the nuclear facility, which is doing its part to keep Phoenix skies clean. Palo Verde leads the U.S. in nuclear energy and producing clean electricity and has more than 30 and has been doing it. APS is the operator and part owner of the nuclear facility, which is doing its part to keep Phoenix skies clean. Palo Verde leads the U.S. in producing clean electricity and has for more than 30 years. Palo Verde plans to provide clean, reliable, and affordable energy to millions of people in the Southwest for decades to come. Accompanying the fire truck are APS employees whose commitment to Arizona goes far beyond the electrical grid and deep into the communities they serve. APS employees volunteer their time and talents to give back to the communities where they live, work and play. And they love being a part of the electric light parade. And we love having them. Absolutely. After all, it's the APS <laughs> electric light parade. So the dedication and support that these employees put into this community and in this, into this parade, it is, it's remarkable. And not lacking in, in enthusiasm <laughs> at all. Months and months of work on top of their regular hours right? they put into this parade. So it's true dedication, it's commitment, and they love it. And we love them. So thank you again for your sponsorship and for your support. As Arizona's largest and longest serving electric utility, APS is proud to have been an integral part of the electric light parade since the parade first came down the road in 1986. When Arizona's fierce storms uh, down power lines, the IBEW linemen, uh, they are a big part of that. They are part of what makes... Do you hear the scream? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pace yourself, people. Pace yourself. Got a long way to go. That's what happens when you have yes. so many participants. And we're all, and here's the best part. We're giving everybody a sneak peek. We're at, in the second round. Right. We have like three more to go. It's just getting bigger and bigger.
as Arizona's largest and longest serving electric utility. APS is proud to have been an integral part of the electric light parade since the parade first came down the road in 1986. When Arizona's first storms down power lines, the IBEW linemen and other talented, hardworking APS employees, they are there working in the rain and the snow day and night to get your power restored. Enjoy the dazzling lights of the giant holiday ornaments. Isn't that so cool? Bearing the colorful APS logo and holiday images. Look how they brighten this beautiful winter night. Go ahead and read 26. I don't have it. I have 25. No. So we'll do the balloon read? Okay. Okay. Lighting up the night sky is the giant. Oh. oh. All right, this gingerbread house will stay warm and cozy all winter long thanks to be This gingerbread house will stay warm and cozy all winter long thanks to reliable power from APS floating gracefully in the sky above the gingerbread house are two dazzling stars. Look how they brighten this beautiful winter night. <laughs> that, that is adorable. Oh, I love that. Fantastic. <laughs> Getting our power restored day and night. So let's just do this one again. I'm just going to track it. Lighting up the night sky is the giant international brotherhood of electric workers. Number 387 light bulb. Rain or shine. APS linemen and women are always ready to light up your homes and businesses. Members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Union from Local 387 have done a sweet job decorating the APS line trucks. These lighted vehicles symbolize the IBEW members' commitment to always keeping the lights on for all of us. Storms will roll in, wildfires. The National League champion Arizona Diamondbacks, here they are to celebrate the joy of an epic postseason with the D-backs fans who supported them every step of the way. I know we all caught the fever. We are so excited to celebrate with the D-backs tonight. And, and guess who's with them? D-backs all-star in Major League Baseball Rookie of the Year, Corbin Carroll, the first rookie in MLB history to hit 25 or more home runs and still 50 or more bases. We also have D-back center fielder Alec Thomas, Diamondbacks pitcher Ryan Nelson, Diamondbacks catcher Jose Herrera, and D-backs coach Rolando Reyes. This season could not have been possible without the amazing support of the D-backs employees. And they are here with them, celebrating with their families on Walter, the world's largest VW bus. Way to go, D-backs. Now that's a party bus we should be on there, I Susan agree. Casper. I agree. Well, here comes the Fiesta Bowl and its mighty mascot spirit. The Verbo Fiesta Bowl is the best of college football in Arizona, but the Fiesta Bowl is more than a game. This year alone, Fiesta Bowl charities positively impacted over 220,000 Arizonans through charitable giving. By prioritizing youth, sports, and education, the Fiesta Bowl works year-round to support the community and inspires others to do the same. Palo Verde Fiesta Bowl Charities wishes for teachers granted well over a million dollars to 500 Arizona teachers this season to invest in the classroom. Ah, tune in to ESPN tomorrow or visit FiestaBowl.org to see who's playing in the Verbo Fiesta Bowl on New Year's Day and guaranteed rate bowl on December 26th in downtown Phoenix. Rise up, Red Sea. It's always a Mary Redmond.
Big Red always give it a cheer. <laughs> Cheerleaders, they're sparkling, they look great. Aw, he gave us a little heart. Aw. <laughs> Aw. And here comes our friends from ABC 15. Look at them right there. Hey, ABC hey 15's Javier Soto and meteorologist Jorge Torres are part of the Valley's favorite news team. Arizona counts on Javier to bring you the big stories of the day. And Jorge helps you plan your week with the most accurate forecast. Hey Watch Javier Soto <laughs> and Jorge Torres weekday evenings on ABC 15 Arizona. And rise and shine, Arizona. Kickstart your day with our good friends. There they are, Kaylee O'Kelly and Nick Saletti on ABC 15 Mornings. Kaylee and Nick. Hey, guys. Wow. They will get you up to date on the news of the day. They're going to bring you stories, of course, that touch our hearts and make a difference in our community. Don't miss ABC 15 mornings weekdays from 4.30 to 7 a.m. only on ABC 15. Love seeing them out there. Oh, it's so much fun. I know. It what is a great team. Right? <laughs> we do. We come from amazing station. Yes. Yeah, we are uh, so honored to be a part of this APS parade for, I don't know, many, many years. All right. How about this? 99.9 KEZ, the Valley's home for Christmas music for more than 20 years. They have a message for listeners. Thank you for making KEZ Christmas part of your family's holiday tradition year year after year from all of us at Beth and Friends I should say from all of them at Beth and Friends in the morning and 99.9 KEZ the Christmas station the 2024 Phoenix Men's Final Four Fan Jam is rolling across the valley with basketball fans of all ages popping jump shots and a celebration of college basketball. Fan Jam will tour Arizona in the coming months. You'll probably see this rolling around, generating a little bit of excitement ahead of the 2024 Men's Final Four, set for April 6th and 8th, 2024 at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Visit phoenixfinal4.com to keep up to date with Fan Jam appearances. Here comes the frontline health professionals from Via Del Sol Community Health with their mobile primary care vaccination unit. Serving the Valley since 1970, they come bearing gifts of positive mental health and physical health, all in a compassionate and culturally competent setting. Their team reminds us to get our important vaccinations this holiday season. You can learn more at ViaDelSol.com. Staying healthy is so important. We now want to welcome Paul Penzone, Sheriff for the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. The Sheriff is being accompanied by the NCSO Mounted Unit, Tactical Operations Unit, Motors, Drone Unit, and Deputies. At attention. Well, at least we know we're safe. That's right. <laughs> they are here in full force, for yes, sure. They are. Look at all the kiddos back there having such a good time around the Christmas tree. Wow, look at the work that went into this float. The Valley Vista Vanguard is from Valley Vista High School in Surprise, Arizona. The Vanguard is led by drum majors Jonathan. Never mind. You definitely don't want the Grinch to show up to your door, for sure. You better stay in line. Look, look that's their... their yeah. um, Tune. Wow, they brought everything out today. That's right, MCSO did not disappoint. 
I think every patrol that they have is here in this parade. I think they should leave the lights on all year long. The Valley Vista Vanguard is from Valley Vista High School in Surprise, Arizona. The Vanguard is led by drum majors Jonathan and Josiah Chang and is under the direction of Andrew Torbert. The Vanguard would like to wish a happy holiday to all those in attendance tonight. Let's listen in. playing the tuba is like, dang it, why'd I pick the tuba? <laughs> She's good, though. <laughs> She's, good. She's really good. She really is good. Good for her. All right, and here is David's professional fire systems. As a child, David and his mom, Betty, went through the Sears catalog looking at toys. When he was eight, his mother, Betty, gave him a special gift from that catalog. It was an electric train that and you spoke from the stack and would wander across the kitchen floor with David following close behind. Well, today, at age 62, David still has that electric train and is sharing it with everyone today. What a special memory. You know, we always... Very special. Yeah, it, it, it's... You know, one of you probably remember that favorite toy that you opened. Still right? to this day, I remember it was my Easy Bake Oven. I loved Easy Bake <laughs> right? Oven. I loved will it. Never forget that moment opening. It was so magical. But then you have those toys that you fear, like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I stepped on him. They used to have spikes sticking out the top. You stepped the potato on it. I stepped on it. I'm sure they've changed that. <laughs> yeah. It's now mashed potato. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we cannot underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Sweet dreams from Brooklyn Bedding. They are here to power your sleep. Brooklyn Bedding is an Arizona-made manufacturing retailer of award-winning mattresses. Family-owned since 1995, Brooklyn Bedding has been part of the Phoenix community for over 27 years. Look at this flow. Oh, that is fantastic. beautiful. They got a good night's sleep, yes. clearly, <laughs> because it looks fantastic. Brooklyn Bedding has 14 retail locations across the valley with sleep experts on site to help you find the sleep of your dreams. Or they had many sleepless nights. Yeah, there you that go. Flow. One that, one is, that is spectacular. Gorgeous. All right, do you hear it? All right, listen to this. Do you see it? Hall of Flame is the weird. Hall of Flame is the world's largest firefighting museum. Did you know that? If you've never been, you have to check it out. This museum includes a National Firefighting Hall of Heroes, over 90 fully restored fire apparatus on exhibit, starting from 1725 all the way to 2004. Come visit their spacious air-conditioned galleries. It really is a cool place to go. Yeah, there are so many cool little, um, I, I like to call them best-kept secret. These, there's museums all <laughs> over the place. Like, there's so many people who have these, like, really cool cool places that just have old artifacts and yeah that's one of them but it's right. really get online and look for like places you've never been before and we have a lot of them a here in arizona of them. never a ton of them well we're learning more in Kent. At, we told you it's a history lesson tonight we told you we're here for you that's we right we really are and one of our favorite entrants each and every year is the phoenix boys choir and they are celebrating 70 the 76th one of our favorite entrants each and every year is the Phoenix Boys Choir celebrating their 76th season in the Valley of the Sun. Young men from the ages of seven and up, they will be performing four holiday concerts during the month of December, so check them out. If you know any young men interested or have a passion for music, please visit the website, boyschoir.org.
Oh, we love it when they come into the studio and sing for us. They're so amazing. And they work so hard. They truly do. They're a very, very dedicated group of young men. Well, it's a sweet time to stop by American Furniture Warehouse. AFW has been bringing you the best prices and widest selection of furniture and home decor since 1975. Whether you are looking for traditional, contemporary, or modern designs, you can shop online or visit any of their three valley locations for affordable furniture that fits your lifestyle. And they would like to say happy holidays from American Furniture Warehouse. And their warehouse is huge. Yes, it, it is. is. So is their store. Yes, it is huge. You need to bring your, your comfy shoes to go through there for sure because it's a lot of ground to cover. It truly is. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do. Look at them rocking out Ooh. there. <laughs> I, I, you know, we always talk about families. This, this parade is about families and tradition. And the Williams family, they are excited to be part of the annual APS Electric Parade Light Parade again this year. They have covered everything you see in 27,000 lights. Oh, my goodness. Everything has been designed and made by their family and friends. And they hope that you all enjoy their version of It's Electric. That is stunning, absolutely stunning. Now a neighborhood that plays together stays together. Look at this, the Ninth Ave and Orchid the neighborhood that plays together stays together. Look at this, the Ninth Ave and Orchid Neighbors Float recreates a traditional gingerbread house, except this one is mega size. It's huge. It's covered in giant oh. goodies and lit with more than 15,000 lights. This group of neighborhoods first connected by getting together. I'm in awe. I know. Gorgeous. The, they first connected by getting together in their driveway for happy hour. A lot of happy hours went into that float. During COVID, their connections grew to grow, uh, including building this float, among many other things. Their second entry into the electric light parade. But I bet this holiday gingerbread will leave you trying to remember where you hid the candy canes, right? Yeah, a gorgeous. lot of work and a lot of happy hours. It wouldn't be a parade in the Southwest without the talented twirlers of the Arizona Twirling Athlete Show Corps who are joining us for their 32nd year. That's amazing. This award-winning unit has been a winner of the People's and Light Up AZ Award. This unit is directed by Becky Hewitt, who has coached Arizona champions for the past 49 years, providing progressive baton twirling training for athletes ages 5 to 18. Carrying their banner from the youngest members of the baton corps, followed by nationally ranked twirlers, showing off their three baton juggling. 28 years of tradition have kept Becky Hewitt, director of the Arizona Trolling Athletes, enthusiastic about designing. Look at this. It's a life-size Barbie doll, all packaged for the holidays. It rotates even on top of the 13 by 30 foot float while young, talented cowgirl twirlers demonstrate their yeah. classic yeah. twirling the music. Now we want to give a very special shout out to Maddie, Becky Hewitt's granddaughter, and the twirlers and their families wish everyone a wonderful holiday season and a glorious new year. Well, you can hear them coming. <laughs> Welcome the Valley of the Sun, Camelback Kiwanis with the Kenilworth Elementary K-Kids and Builders Club and the Camelback High School Key Club. They're celebrating the joy of sparking imagination in students in their colorful and fun costume and lots of lights, smiles and singing and just having fun in the parade. Up next is Simplify Heating and Cooling, a veteran owned and operated business right here in Arizona. They offer free HVAC tune-ups to those supporting this event. Just give them a call and mention the APS Parade. They firmly believe in honoring the service and sacrifices of our veterans. We cannot thank them enough for that. We hear you loud and clear.
first responders and their families. And as a token of their gratitude, they extend a generous 20% discount to these esteemed individuals. We salute you for that, Semper Fi. Thank you for being in the parade. Yet again, looking at all of the work that goes into Fantastic. this. You know it took months and months of preparation. Welcome to Valley of the Sun Camelback Kiwanis with the Kenilworth Elementary K-Kids and Builders Club and the Camelback High School Key Club. They are celebrating the joy of sparking, get it, sparking imagination in students in their colorful and fun costumes and lots of lights and smiles, so singing. Cute. They're just having a ball in this parade. <laughs> the Kiwanis organization has been supporting schools and programs that spark imagination for over 75 years. Oh my goodness. It was so cute because we were so close to the parade route, we can see their faces and some of the kids are just waving and pointing and they're having a ball. And now we want to welcome the Imagine Prep Cheer Team. They want to welcome all of you to a holiday filled with Christmas. Enjoy the high energy holiday spirit with amazing dance routines to their favorite Christmas tunes. We see you ladies. Y'all are getting down up there. I love it. The team is coached by Phoenix, Jasmine, Hannah, Jordan, and Liberty. Imagine Prep Cheer, they want to spread some holiday cheer and wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I think they're gonna break the back of that <laughs> the back of that trailer. Some on that thing. <laughs> they are dropping it. I love it. And they're back. Marty and Transport brought out their big nine axle to the APS. <laughs> it's electric light parade for all to enjoy. It's chock full of holiday cheer and thousands of dazzling lights. Marty and Transport is a family owned business that hauls heavy equipment, including oversized loads. So these are some big trucks, wow, you guys. Huge. Marty and Transport would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. Check this out. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at this float. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous. This is like the real deal here. Right. Look at that. <laughs> They've got all the reindeer. That's how big this truck is. They've got all the reindeer, a sleigh. It's unbelievable. I think it's the entire North Pole staff on the back of the truck. Holy cow, it's fabulous. Wow. That's what it's about. Those are some big trucks. Yes, lots of lights. Lots of lights. Wow, look at this coming down the street. Imagine Prep Cheer Team wants to welcome you to a holiday filled with pink Christmas. Enjoy the high energy holiday spirit with amazing dance routines to music. The team is coached by Phoenix, Jasmine, Hannah, Jordan, and Liberty. Imagine Prep Cheer wants to spread the holiday cheer and wish you all a very Merry Christmas. They'll dance. There's a lot of pink in this in this parade. There sure is. <laughs> on the route, on the route too. Uh oh, look at this. It's ADOT's snowplow. I thought they were all busy up north, right? Hey, I don't know. They came, they took a break. They are clearing the way. You when you need a snowplow, boy, do you need a snowplow. They are clearing the way to transport Santa's sleigh to the North Pole. That's what they're doing here. They're also ready for this coming winter season to keep the roads and you safe.
That's right, because of course Santa needs it cleared so that he can come through. And we're so thankful because ADOT's got him covered. This is ADOT's truck transporting Santa's amazing sleigh. Thank goodness for ADOT, otherwise Santa would never make it to our house. That's right. They need to make sure that their path is clear so right. we can bring all those toys. So kids, be sure and thank ADOT when you and see them. spread the cheer. <laughs> That's right. And here they come. You can think of right now. ADOT's truck transporting Santa's sleigh and reindeer through Arizona all the way to the North Pole. That is a hefty lift, and it is fantastic. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at all of the lights. And, and you know, of course, led by Rudolph. You have to remember that all of these employees, this is what they're doing in their spare time. Mm, Look gorgeous. at the work that goes into that. Nice job. That's gorgeous. Yes, it's going right up. Up, up, and away. I love this. All the gifts in the back there in the sleigh. Can't forget those. That was me. All the way from Mesa, Arizona, the Dance Brats bring electricity young and old to spread to spread holiday cheer all the way from mesa arizona the dance brats bring electricity young and old to spread holiday cheer Magical star, and here is Magical Star Preschool. Every child at this school is a different kind of star that sparkles and glows with kindness and love. Our magical friends together make this world brighter and beautiful on this magical night, and they want you to shine bright. Let's all say hi to our neighbors and make this world shine bright for our children. Together, they say we can truly make a magical difference. What a fun school. I love that. They encourage the imagination to just run wild. Well, that's what happens when you're riding a unicorn. That's right. Oh, and look at the truck. It looks fabulous. Oh, and the Grinch is driving. <laughs> what a beautiful message. How about a little how about a little bit of fun now? Here's the AZ Mini car crew coming up. Oh, they are a five-owner group that shares their mini car passion with family and friends for cruises, parades, and car shows. Looks like they're loving every moment of it. Car shows are the best as the kids enjoy the minis, and of course they encourage them to sit in them and take pictures. They currently have 110 mini cars in the crew. Oh my goodness, they are tiny. They, they're tiny, but they pack a loud punch, don't they? Oh, look at the, the truck. That's oh, great. Cute. <laughs> That's so cute. I feel like the photographers need to get on their knees. So we would really <laughs> get a little and I think you can see, right, when they're sticking out. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this one coming up. There's so many cars on Facebook. They're having the ball. Yeah, they are, they are a little bit mighty.
all aboard as Rudolph and Maricopa County School Superintendent Steve Watson bring holiday cheer to the valley. To make it truly electric, they join. To make it truly electric, they're joined by robots. How, how cool is this? Built by student members of the Plasma and Launch Team Robotics Club. That is wow. just fabulous. These are some of the most talented intellectual kids you will ever meet. Their robots move, they talk, they're intuitive. It's, it's quite remarkable. We even have a monitor set up on the side of the bus from the robot's point of view. That is so Well, it certainly is an APS electric light yes. tradition, and I'm talking about the Dolan family. Here they come. The Dolan family is celebrating their 37th year of building a float together. They do this in instead, instead of exchanging gifts, and I love this, right? This year's entry is sure to send electrifying energy to the crowds along the route with their 50,000 lights, bubbles, snow, colorful fog, and multiple laser and specialty lights. It's a rolling fury of motion and color. A special shout out to high school senior Allie Dolan. Instead of giving each other gifts, they give us a gift every, every year. In the parade, year after year, it's gorgeous. No and doubt they're going to go back and think about what they're going to do next yes. year. And here is one of our favorite, the Arizona Bus Club, a nonprofit Volkswagen group who restores old VW buses to its glory. The Arizona Bus, the Arizona Bus Club is a nonprofit Volkswagen group who restores an old VW bus to its glory. And every year they raffle a restored VW bus for one dollar a ticket. Proceeds go right back into the community. The 33rd Arizona Bus Club Jerome Jamboree. It's going to be held the third weekend of September. You can win this 1973 Riviera Top VW Bus with air conditioning. That's very important wow. to say. We do have to say that again. Tickets are just a buck, one dollar. You must be present to win it. And if you want to learn more, they have quite the social media following, as you can imagine. You can look them up on Facebook for all the details. But the Arizona Bus Club, it is so much fun. I told you I had a VW. My dad um, had a VW when I was growing up. They are the best. We were joking about how many there are, yeah. but this is no joke. There's a whole bunch of them. There's I think half the club is in the parade. <laughs> yes, and the, and we always think it's over, and then some more come down the, come down the parade route, which is so much fun because they're all different. Well, and if you win the VW bus, I, maybe they make it a prerequisite that you have to be in the parade. <laughs> That's so fun. I love it. It's just. Look, he's playing in the back of one. <laughs> Just a typical day in a VW. Right. Um, and, and again, that jamboree, it's the third uh, weekend of September, and it's a 1973 Riviera Top VW bus. And it does have AC, so don't worry. You can keep it here in Arizona. Those are some fun people. They are. Right? And those are some fun vehicles, because inside it's much roomier than it looks on the outside. What else do you do with the VW bus? <laughs> Put well, lights on it? Put it in a parade. You, yeah, that's right. And look at this. They all have different themes. This one is peace. Grinch has been very popular this year. Have you noticed that? I have. That means there's a lot of people on the naughty list. <laughs> Not me. No, -uh. nope. no way, Jose. I'm always on the nice list. 
<laughs> Santa, I can explain. I really can. <laughs> she has a, she has like a, a side note. P.S. <laughs> I did remember have, that one time. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a really good July. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold it against me. Boy, a lot of those are really decked out on the inside as well. I right. love the fact that they've got them open so you can see inside. Talk I, about refurbishing. I think I missed count I, because I was counting, and, I, and now I'm off. I think the 24, <laughs> 25. I miscounted, clearly. Oh, look, Santa's perched on the top of, of this next one. Got Grinch on one, Santa on the other. Oh, Grinch is some good hip action. Yes, going he up does. There. there he is. I think Santa is is the showstopper. I think I think this is the end of the of the <laughs> AZ Bus Club. Oh, gotta love that club. Every year, every year, gotta love it. <laughs> Are you in the mood? I am. I'm getting there for sure. <laughs> Have you put up your tree already? Oh, heck yeah, girl. Of course you did. And guess what? I'm done Christmas shopping. <laughs> I, I will say this. I got a bulk of my Christmas shopping already done, but I still got to get my tree up. Wow. And here it is, Arizona Tile. Arizona Tile is proud to be participating for the first time this year. They are a family-owned company founded more than 45 years ago. Getting their float ready and love with love and participating, you know what, is a long-standing tradition for them. I love all the families that are following behind because they're like, wait, keep up with us, keep <laughs> up with us. And they're smart because they're in motorized things. Right? Like they're on scooters that are motorized, which is smart. <laughs> It's a long parade route. It really is. What'd you say? Two and, is it At 2.3 miles. 2.3 miles. Yes. And here is AZ Myths Cheer. We have a lot to cheer about tonight. AZ Myths Parade debut is now. And it's an electrifying storm of thunder, lightning, and Christmas celebration. AZ Myths brings an exciting combination of dance and cheer with Team Zeus. Feel the jolt. As Zeus electrifies the stage. Very smart of them to have a truck in front of them that lights them up. That's perfect. Very good. Well, since 1957, the Arizona Humane Society has fostered the belief that every pet deserves a good home. A Arizona Humane Society saves the most Arizona Humane Society saves the most vulnerable animals and enriches the lives of pets and people in our community every day. And we love our rescues, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I never thought that I would be a pet mommy, but I am and I be rescued. Oh, He's a rescue. Look, they have little oh, kitties in there and puppies. I'm it. sure all up for adoption. Absolutely. Okay, can we all do a collective? Oh, look, <laughs> it is so cute. Oh, so precious. Do not adjust your TV. These horses are mini. Minis Making Memories. It's a group of miniature therapy horses. They truly make a difference in people's lives while making visits to hospitals. They go into assisted living centers and, of course, just out here for the public to enjoy. Many of the minis here tonight, they have been rescued, and they enjoy giving back their time to the public. Minis Making Memories would like to wish each and every single one of you a fabulous holiday and a great new year just around the corner. Aren't they absolutely adorable? They really are, and I love how they're all lit up. Oh, they're just <laughs> precious. Look at this one with the, looks like a princess carriage there. Oh, just uh, adorable. And they're oh all rescued, right? Yeah. That just makes your heart. Just melts your heart. <laughs> The minis are like, really, Mom? You had to put all these lights on me? That's what the animals in the, <laughs> the Humane Society were saying, too. Really? Another, another sweater? Slay people. 
All right, all aboard right now. We have the Roosevelt School District's Polar Express. They say, may we never lose sight of the Christmas spirit and always believe that the true spirit of Christmas lies in your heart. It's electric. Merry Christmas from everyone at the Roosevelt School District serving the South Phoenix community since 1912. Their school bus, we turned it into a train which includes a working smokestack, train whistle, cow catcher, <laughs> lounge, engine room, and caboose all in one. Look at it, it's huge. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh my gosh, that is a fun, fun bus, motel, whatever you want Lounge. to call it. Lounge. Yeah, it's <laughs> Everything's everything. on wheels. It's the Polar <laughs> Express, Susan. Perfect. I have to be honest. I think I have been eating my body weight in sugar cookies this <laughs> holiday season, it's which okay. which is good because here comes X Fitness, <laughs> and they say they put the X in extraordinary. They're a group of fitness studios, and this is where fun is. They are a group fitness studio where fun is still a part of the equation in your next workout. Because I don't know about you, but I have to have fun when I'm working out. Yes. And they want to invite each and every one of us to join the team so you don't have to feel guilty anymore about overeating and indulging and enjoying. Because you're going to go to X Fitness and work it off. Well, they certainly are going to work it off tonight because they have a long way to go. Probably another two miles. Yes, and Santa's not the only one who slays. Divine Dance Troupe is a group of dazzling young stars and hearts of gold. They are connecting the youth and building community leaders one sassy strut at a time. Hi, are you feeling it, Terry? I'm in it. You feeling the mood? Well, guess what? So are these ladies. Santa's not the only one who slays. Divine Dance Troupe is a group of dazzling young stars. Aren't they also pretty in pink tonight? Uh -huh. And they are... Divine Dance Troupe is a group of dazzling young stars with hearts of gold. They are connecting the youth and building community leaders one sassy strut at a time. Ooh, they are sassy. I like it. I am so impressed by all of the young dancers and the marching bands, the young kids out here. Their, their energy level, their enthusiasm. They're having a ball. Oh, here's my people. Hi, my people. Here they are, the West Valley Jeep Riders. This is a Jeep enthusiast group and owners who love the Arizona Sun Desert Trails. This is a group, okay, let's do that one more time. Here are the West Valley Jeep Riders. This is a Jeep enthusiast group and owners who love the Arizona Sun Desert Trails and making new friends. The Riders, they are a new group. They just started in April of 2023. They're in the West Valley. They have over 700 current members already. Oh, wow. And they're still growing. That's huge. I know, and they would love to see you join them. Who knew you could fit Santa and his reindeer on top of Santa a Jeep? Santa was kind of leaning over there, oh, and I was like, goes. come on, Santa, you got it. <laughs> He's just making the corner. Right, exactly. <laughs> Turn. Leaning into it. This is another big group. You said 700 members. They might all be here tonight. I know, right? I love seeing all these clubs out here. Yeah. You know, it just, just shows how, how wonderful it can be just to join a, a group of other like-minded people. And well, you do a lot of off-roading, and you have mm -hmm. a, a wonderful group, um, a network of friends, and you guys all love it. You're enthusiasts, AV enthusiasts. That's right. Like 
And it's so beautiful. It's a great way to get out and explore Arizona, mm -hmm. you know, whether you're in an off-road vehicle or... You see it from a different perspective. Absolutely. Sure. Oh, you sure do. Makes you appreciate our beautiful Arizona desert. <laughs> you hear the kids, honk that horn, <laughs> honk that horn. <laughs> You know, I'm glad it's not raining, but I will say the rain brings a whole different perspective. It just lights up the streets, right? Yeah, it does the, that twinkle. Yeah. It gives that glow. Maybe they should just come through with a big water. Hey, there's a water truck that you know, was about 50 uh, floats up. <laughs> yes, yes. He had 1.7 million gallons of potable yes, water. Yes, he did. He could have totally wet the, wet the runway. Right. <laughs> Well, we also have the fire department here. They could have done that, too. <laughs> Next year, Terry, make sure they wet the parade route. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get my people on that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. From the little district with the big heart comes Rudolph and his elves, representing the Littleton Elementary School District. This district from the West Valley, it believes education has no boundaries, and they focus nine focus the district from the West Valley believes education has no boundaries, and they have nine focus academies in which all of the students have the ability, I love this, they, the kids, get to choose their focus to learning success. No exceptions. I love that, putting control into the kids' hands. They're bound to pay more attention, work harder, do all the things they need to do. If you'd like to learn more, about this, you can visit littletonaz.org. At least they can control us in a positive way. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And I tell you what, that is one of the coolest, most lit up buses I've seen. <laughs> That's I think really the, nice. the kids probably say, let's keep it this way all year long. Yep. Recess from start to finish. <laughs> no, I'm sure they have some really tough courses, and, and the kids, again, get to do what they love. What was that? <laughs> They're having some issues ahead. All right. And here is One Stop Asphalt, making Arizona parking lots great again. They specialize in all asphalt needs, whether it's new repairs and maybe even maintenance. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that asphalt is produced at a temperature of 275 degrees? In the summertime, asphalt workers deal with 115 plus degree weather on top of the temperature of the asphalt, which means special boots are required. Again, another fun fact. We're learning so much today. I always felt sorry for those guys and gals out there working in, in that the temperature. Oh, oh, yeah, your heart breaks, really. But no doubt, One Stop does a great job taking care of their people Absolutely. because they're all here in the parade, loving life and yes, loving what they do. Because they know the importance of keeping the roads really smooth and safe for drivers. I mean, I don't know if you've ever hit a pothole, but it's not fun. And these, this team makes it happen. I didn't hit a pothole. A pothole hit me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and check out this. Woo, what a beauty. Look at all of the lights as United Rentals. Like we said, one-stop asphalt. <laughs> They're a busy Busy group of people. But look how cool. That is amazing. They even put a red nose on the front of this asphalt truck. And it's amazing how clean they are. You know, for working yeah. in asphalt, right? Right, right? That's a dirty job. It is. And that's a big sleigh.
Rentals. United Rentals, your one-stop shop for equipment rentals, sales, and all job site and construction needs. They have a lot of lights on this one. Look at all the different equipment. Wow. That you can rent and use. If you're in the construction industry, they're your place. brought out the whole company. It's fun for the staff, you know, when you have a big company like this and they have all of the, the team members and their families in right. the parade. It's their way to say thank you. It's really cool to see. Plus, it's a great bonding experience, Absolutely. right? When you're doing something like that together mm -hmm. and it's all community-based mm -hmm. and, you know, just doing something fun and then good for the community because when you're in the float, which we have done before, Absolutely. but seeing all the kids and how excited everybody is to see you and wave. And, and they've even been giving that back to us. Yeah. We receive that. We can feel their energy, and they're so excited to see everybody on the parade route, so it's really cool. And like we said earlier, there are like 90, well over 90 entrants, so this is a very big parade. Mm -hmm. All right, and coming up next is a display from Pensar Academy, a project-based learning school in Phoenix. The float features their regal bulldog mascot, King Ragnar, adorned in academic attire, highlighting the school's commitment to excellence through the king, though the king might think this parade is his procession. <laughs> what he's thinking. For 2024, Fourth through eighth graders can enroll beginning in December. The float is built atop their PBL tank, which brings PBL to our community in science, art, and technology. Rumor has it, though, that this float is an actual student-led project called 12 Days of Pensar. The school leadership told students if they earned an A, a, a grade last year, that they would be in the parade. Must have meant the APS parade. It looks what? like they won. I was about to say, they got that A. <laughs> they them. are here. Congrats to the Bulldogs. And coming up, a parade favorite. Here comes Los Reyes Car Club. Their low rider community is coming together for family fun. You should hear the crowd right now. <laughs> oh, they love, oh, they love yes. this. Watch this. As he hit those hydraulics, I'm telling you, there it goes. The crowd goes wild. Lots of hydraulics, old school vehicles, and of course, fancy paint jobs makes Los Reyes Car Club one of this parade's favorites. Everyone's clapping. It's a lot of fun watching these guys come down the street. Oh my gosh, look at that. A bit of a bumpy ride. Right, yeah. exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't have too much dinner before they got in there. <laughs> and I love the old school vehicles. I mean, it takes a lot because they, they put an entirely different type of engine and it's just so cool and the amount of work, oh my yeah. gosh, to maintain those. The paint, and, all of it. And here's where all of their hard work pays off, yeah. right? Yeah. Listening to the crowd, oh my gosh. As soon as he dropped it, it was like everyone went screaming.
This is another one of those car clubs that just has a Obviously, it's not just the hydraulics that make right. these so exciting, right? right? The engines, wow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty remarkable. And these are their babies. Yes. Like, they don't want the box to be there. They keep them covered. There's a lot, a lot of expense that goes into... Yeah. You don't, you don't yeah. take these to the grocery no, store. No, you do not. <laughs> you do not. They stay, they stay protected and hidden until it's a performance or when they have you know you've seen them at the different in, in library parking lots or in schools and they do showcases and everything gets have you ever written one i did not oh i it have fun? it's so it is I, it's a it's a quite an experience it truly is you feel really cool <laughs> you do yeah. you feel really super cool yeah because everyone's like oh no Some Santas come in on a sleigh and others come in on a low rider. Right? He's the cool Santa. That's right. <laughs> I told you this is a big club. This is a big car club. They're giving the, the VW buses a run yeah, for their exactly, money, aren't they? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just pristine, pristine vehicles. Wow. In every way, shape, and form. El Camino and a Bulldog. Doesn't get any better than that. Now we would like to welcome the men of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Alpha, Epsilon, Sigma Chapter, and Family. Electrifying your soul with holiday music. Join us in celebrating the joy, unity, and distinctive energy of this festive occasion. They believe in culture for service and service for humanity. They light up the night with the power of brotherhood and holiday spirit. It's truly electric. I hope you at home watching Facebook are enjoying the behind the scenes. <laughs> yes. It is, it's one of these parades where there's so much happening at once. This is probably one of the biggest books <laughs> Look how yeah. many entrants. Yeah. And it's so fun because there's a lot happening, you know, between the cameras and between all of the folks coming through. It's it's wonderful. Well, behold a dazzling winter wonderland on wheels adorned with sparkling lights and festive decorations with the folks at Elite Roofing Supply. Santa and his cheerful helpers ride along, symbolizing the company's dedication to excellent and community spirit. Just as they ensure top-notch roofing solutions, Elite Roofing Supply also spreads warmth and joy in the communities that they serve. And that truck is how they get all of the roofing material on top of the houses. You see the big crane oh, up yeah, there? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Protecting our roofs. We talk about that a lot in our zone. We need to do it. Yes, absolutely. Keep your roof safe. 
Okay, all of you chocolate lovers out there, I bet there's a lot. The Candy and Chocolate Company is a local candy and confections factory located right off 7th Avenue in Dunlap. Visit their store to watch the production. How cool is that? You can actually watch how chocolate is made. You can see the entire process, or you can find them in public for a sweet treat. Lots of fun taste testing yes, happens there. a lot there. of people want to run after that one. <laughs> Throw samples is what they're thinking. Yeah, right? <laughs> And here's the Desert Image Family. Five brothers founded Desert Image Family in 1997 as a lowrider bike and model car club. They're adults now, but that doesn't matter. They build lowrider cars and have passed on the tradition of building bikes and cars to their kids. The children learn to create what they envision for their own bikes, such as color, theme, and accessories, which is a great way to spend time with the family and create awesome memories. Goodness. Wow, that one's up there. Whoa. That's insane, that right? Is incredible. Did you hear the gasp <laughs> from all of the parade <laughs> the parade goers right in front of him? Like, is this like, supposed to do yeah. that? <laughs> oh my gosh, look how tall he is in the back. That is so cool. That is so cool. They are putting on a show, yes, aren't they? they? Are. This is the place to do it, right in front of the cameras. Oh my gosh, the amount of work that goes into that, it's just hard to imagine, yeah. right? And they even have tinsel under there, so you can see it as it goes <laughs> it's by. All, it's all lit <laughs> up. Yeah, it's, it's so like, it's perfect. Oh my gosh, look at that. Leaning on one side. Oh wow. <laughs> look at look at now, the passenger holding on for dear life. <laughs> you see him. Oh look at goodness. that. Oh, that wow. is truly, I mean, I, I that is just mind-boggling to me. It's incredible the amount of stability. And the, oh my gosh, the technique first off, and and then of course the hydraulics. But how do you even design I, something I like that? I have no idea. The driver is is remarkable as well because they're controlling it. They're telling the car what to do. Hold on, kids. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can. I don't know if you all can hear it, but the crowd is screaming every time this, these cars do another trick. And at first look, they look like, you yeah, know, a, a yeah. typical car, right? Some people were just going to Circle K and got <laughs> caught in the parade. Had some lights in the back, so they just strung Let's them just up. Let's just go in here. Yeah. Honey, take a right. <laughs> the trip to the grocery store just became a parade route. I love that. If that really did happen, what a story that would no. be. <laughs> Went so to the grocery store, ended up in a parade. <laughs> so we should make that into like a, a Saturday like Night Live bit or something, oh. a sitcom. <laughs> Honey, I don't think we went the right way. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Look for me on TV.
I was in a parade. <laughs> I, you were supposed to be going to the grocery store, and I just saw you on ABC 15. What happened? <laughs> but I did get the eggs. <laughs> Don't worry. That I would be that. something you and I would do, <laughs> right, right? Exactly. We'd end up but in a parade. Did, yeah. <laughs> but did you get the milk? <laughs> All right. You got to you got to hear this. I hear it. Do you hear it? Yep. What is that noise? Well, welcome to Jurassic Park and you better hold on because here comes the Desert Raptors from Jurassic Park Motor Pool. Can you believe this is the 30th anniversary wow. of the movie Jurassic Park. I remember when it came out. It was wow. Revolutionary. <laughs> the Jurassic Park Motor Pool, Pool is a The Jurassic Park Motor Pool is a group for owners and enthusiasts of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World vehicles. Oh, look at the raptor there. He was at your birthday party. <laughs> he the was. Raptor? Yeah. Don't you remember the dancing raptor at your birthday party? Oh, my goodness. That must that have been a such a fun ago. party. I don't even remember it. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> That's another group of yes. very enthusiastic yes. people, right? And they've done, the, it, like, they've done a remake, of course, and they're all great. But there's nothing like that first one, right? The right? first Jurassic Park. It will live on. Yeah. It will there, be. There have been yeah, part two and threes, I think, right? Yep. Hey, the dino crew in full effect. Look at the look at the dino in the back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks so it weird. Look, I know, right? It hope, better hope they don't break that. He doesn't break that fence. Well, I'm running. I'm <laughs> telling you, you and me both. Wouldn't it that be looks something? So lifelike. If the back like popped open <laughs> and it came. Yeah. All you would see is Terry. Because <laughs> I would be gone. You see that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the dino. <laughs> Central Arizona Project delivers water to Maricopa. Central Arizona Project delivers water to Maricopa, Pinal, and Pima counties, serving more than five million people or more. Serving more than five million people or more than 80% of the state's population. Let me start that again. Central Arizona Project delivers water to Maricopa, Pinal, and Pima County, serving more than 5 million people, or more than 80% of the state's population. If you'd like to learn more about water news and information, check out their website, knowyourwaternews.com. Your water, your future. I like that slogan. So do I. <laughs> We're getting a little slap happy here, right? <laughs> Facebook fans. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're getting the best, right? Yes, you are. All right, here we go. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 640, is certainly lighting up the Arizona night with holiday cheer with their dazzling float covered, and get this, over 35,000 sparkling, colorful lights. And, of course, they're very festive assorted display. The local 640 members, staff, and families want to wish you all a very joyous, safe, and blessed holiday season. Hear he, hear he. The queens have arrived, and I'm not talking about us, Terry. 
We should have rolled out the royal carpet. Hear ye, hear ye, the queens have arrived. We should have rolled out the royal red carpet. These queens were selected to represent pageants. They have received their coaching directly from the founder, Shaquan Palmer, and we want to congratulate Miss Juneteenth 2023, Sasha Reverend, and Little Miss Valley of the Sun, Amira Robinson. Okay, well, it's time to rev your engines for the Phoenix Raceway. Phoenix Raceway is home to NASCAR's Championship Weekend. The 2024 race dates, they're March 8th through the 10th and November 8th through the 10th. You can get tickets at phoenixraceway.com slash tickets. Have you ever been? A long time ago. I went probably a couple of years ago. It is the most... A heart pounding, <laughs> heart pounding experience. It is incredible. It is truly incredible. Hoping your holiday season isn't rough. Well, here comes Maggie's <laughs> friends. Maggie's friends rescues with purpose and trains with passion and loves unconditionally. Maggie loves the help. Maggie loves to help her friends find fur ever homes Aww. and teach the skills needed to be a good boy or girl <laughs> and we just love rescues they are perfect oh oh you're good i like men in in doggy costumes that was so I adorable how, i wonder how much he had to get for that <laughs> Are you ready to purchase, sell, or build your gingerbread home? Contact Christy Lopez and Roman Gastelum. As top producers in Arizona, they make sure you will have a sweet experience. Run, run, run as fast as you can before you catch the gingerbread man. Catch the deals with your Arizona Realtor and Mortgage Broker. They're having a good time. That gingerbread house is sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget it. Forget it. Can't move in there. And here comes the Phoenix chapter of the Buffalo Troopers Motorcycle Club. They are part of the world's largest African-American motorcycle club. And they are jamming. Wow. They are a community-focused organization. And they are working daily by helping to feed the homeless. They spend a lot of hours entering and helping local families in need. They also provide scholarships to graduating seniors. They are rolling along and doing great work in the Valley. Well, Scott Waste Services is a locally owned and operated company with over 20 years of experience in the roll-off industry. They offer services in Phoenix and most surrounding cities for residential and commercial customers. Why are they the best in the Valley? Because they do more than just dumpster rentals. They give you personalized service. You can call them at 602-438-2243. There's a number right there for all of your dumpster needs. Getting louder and louder. Right, sometimes <laughs> it gets into a, a little match going on. It sounds really good. <laughs> 
Well, I tell you what, if you need something towed, these are the folks for you. Right. Western Towing has been servicing the valley since 1985. It has, all right, we hear you. It has to have a fleet of over 65 trucks and is capable of towing anything from a small motorcycle to the largest semi truck. The first truck is the largest tow truck in the state. He is huge. Look how big. Wow. Wow, it's <laughs> I have to talk in between the horn. This truck is capable of lifting 150,000 pounds. That's enormous. Western Towing also provides a wide range of recovery services, including off-road recoveries and airbag assisted rollovers. So it does serve a huge need. And they have lights. Look at the lights on that. I mean, it is amazing. A big staff to roll trucks like this, and all the families are there waving and saying Merry Christmas. And all the reindeer are there, That's too. That's right. Western Towing. That, that was a huge tow truck. When you have a big truck, you have to have a big horn. That's right, and he does. <laughs> Can you imagine it going beep, beep? It wouldn't work. <laughs> it just would not work. Pretty memorable. Yeah, that's true. Mija, the local nonprofit that serves Latino parents to navigate the special education system and create the biggest annual charity event, a giving marathon at the Miracle Mile is every first Sunday of December, which is more than 20 local nonprofits together receiving donations from the community from shoes, hair, blood, toys, winter clothes, and so much more. You can learn more by visiting mehug.org. organization Mihug presents Giving Marathon. Giving Marathon is tomorrow at the Miracle Mile. Come and donate something from the more than 20 options at 17th Street and Mandela Road between 10 in the morning and 6 in the evening. You can donate hair, blood, bone marrow or stem cells, clothing, non-virtual canned food, shoes, plastic caps, toys, bicycles, what I really like this year, we're hearing a lot of the um, the organizations they have recordings going on, so yeah. people can learn more about the services they provide, and it's really interesting. People are just QR codes and different things. I know it's very smart. Yeah, actually, to very find smart. resources after the parade is over. Salud in Balance Community Center and Perry Park Neighborhood Association wishes everyone a bright and joyful holiday with their beloved. They would also like to remind everyone, which is very important, to be responsible drivers with the Check Your Speed campaign. Very important reminder this holiday season. Reminding us all to be responsible drivers this holiday. Well, whether it's seeing your first snowfall, making memories, or Waking up to get a peek at Santa, the holidays are full of memories and magic in Arizona's beautiful scenery. 
The Arizona ATV riders use a variety of vehicles from single-person ATVs and quads to the popular two- and four-seater side-by-side UTVs so the entire family can ride together. Oh, and it's dirty. I love that. <laughs> Their mission for members is to do monthly trail rides in some of the most beautiful deserts, forests, mountain areas, and all of Arizona's beautiful parks, and, of course, off-highway recreational preserves. Rides can be easy, they can be challenging, but they are always fun. It's a great way to explore Arizona safely and grow lifelong great friendships and relationships. The Arizona ATV riders want to say happy holidays and happy trails to you. Visit azatvriders.club. Oh my goodness, ho, 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 oh, look who is here. Oh, jolly old St. Nick himself. Let's give Santa a big, warm valley welcome. Hi, Santa. Hi, Santa. I've been good, I promise. <laughs> For the 36th year, Phoenix Fire Department's so proud to deliver Santa Claus on this awesome 60-foot ladder truck. Santa is so happy. He's waving and cheering to all the beautiful, smiling faces. And he's so happy everybody came out this year to celebrate this night. It's electric. Well, the city of Phoenix is so proud to continue this magical tradition yes. and I have to tell you I think it was the best parade yet I agree it was fantastic and of course we have to give a very special thank you to APS for their continued support and dedication and sponsorship of this parade that is truly a Phoenix family tradition it was electric <laughs> it was and of course APS and folks over at the Phoenix Parks and Recreation Department want to wish you all a safe and merry holiday and thank you for coming to the parade and from Susan and from our family to yours, we want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Mwah. <laughs> and thank you, Facebook fans. We hope you had so much fun because we did. <laughs> it was. <laughs> so we, I forgot it was Happy Holidays. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're getting the best of us. Right. Oh I pulled out some that I need to redo. <laughs> I couldn't, I could not like get the hairy hairy because it was so. Hairy, hairy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I was like, every time. You were like this. Hairy. 